Hey there, bitizens, and welcome to the Kilobits. My name is Francesca, and on YouTube's this week, we are playing Hyrule Warriors. This is actually the loading screen before the map. Well, it's not a loading screen, it's where you can find out information about the battlefield, kind of reminiscent of Dynasty Warriors. This is basically Dynasty Warriors with a Hyrule skin, so you can see where your captains are. We have Impa, Zelda, Link. Uh, you can see current status, uh, basically what you need to do to win, how you lose. Likewise, info on your different warriors, you know, all the information you can need in terms of like character level, their abilities, what they can kind of do. So like these are the YX combos you have, um, your strong attack there was X, uh, and their weapon skill, their badges, whether you've done the sculptulas for this level, how you unlock the sculptula, this one reached a thousand kills, those kind of things. Um, just typical information you would want before a battle, uh, similar to dynasty warriors i guess and uh, let's just let's just get started you can even set the battleground music that's what bgm is uh this is actually the very first level of the game i figured if i was gonna play something for you guys i should probably start at the beginning uh, i haven't actually finished this game i've played about eight or so levels but uh as you can see here i am and if i keep running i should go super fast yeah i gotta go fast like sonic we oh god baddies um so let's just kind of start killing things uh it's very very much kind of dynasty warriors-esque uh, gameplay in terms of, you know, a hack and slash spamming X and Y to do combos. And you can learn actually different combos and stuff um, with your abilities. I haven't actually played this in a little while, so I may need to figure out the controls a little bit. Um, those ones there, those stronger ones are seen as, you know, stronger enemies. And you can see on the map where the people are talking from. So Impa's saying, what is this, a new recruit? And then you can see Impa on the map over, oops, here, there's Impa, so we'll go help him. Although there's a captain there. If you tap L, you actually target on the captain uh, and you can then switch targets with one of the ones. Oh, and you can also throw bombs. This is something you actually unlock later on in the game. So I don't think you're meant to be able to throw bombs right away from the beginning, but as we're playing, uh, we're playing a game I've already started. Like there's not really a lot we could do about that, but um, let's just kill people. Whee! Uh, do we have an objective? Currently there's no marker to tell us what to do. I think it's just story at the moment. Oh, I have to help the fairy. Okay. Boom! Look at that. I got me a fairy. This means that I'm a true Hylian. And then I absorbed it into my soul. That, that, that... I feel like I've just been possessed by a fairy called Proxy. I mean, you did just jump inside me. You should know who I am. Nice sword. Damn straight this is a nice sword. I am Link. Um, it's kind of funny. The European version of this game, if you bought a hard copy, came with a scarf. You see the scarf he's wearing? I don't know why he's wearing a scarf, but it came with the scarf. Uh, we'll go over here and I'll show you guys how to capture, uh, oh, it's broken. I was gonna say, I'll show you how to capture, uh, these things. What is ZR, that one? I don't think I'm currently actually able to break it. Oh no, I am! I'm not supposed to be able to do that yet. Like, I'm supposed to have to unlock the bomb. So, uh, ignore the fact that I just broke the level a little bit, guys. Like, that was unintentional. Right, keep attacking. It doesn't tell me what to freaking do. Now, if you press A, let's find some baddies. In fact, we'll go over here. Can we go through this gate? Where is this gate? Over here. The map's a little bit confusing. Here, we can go in here, we can actually capture this. But Oh, we got a cutscene! It's a bad guy. It's a dragon man! Oh, he looks cool. You can actually play as the bad guys in this game, as well as the good guys, so... Uh, similar to Dynasty Warriors, you can play as the, you know, the friendly for forces and the evil forces. It's the same as Volga. So we're gonna have to kill Volga, so we may as well use our special attack just to kick things off. Uh, where the sword just goes ham, and bad things happen to good people. Uh, but we do need to defeat him. This is on hard, so this is actually meant to be a little bit more challenging than the game would be typically. In that mode, he's staggered, and I want to keep hitting him, because then if I can uh, break the stagger, I do large amounts of damage to him, basically. Uh, we will... Uh, oops, I, I broke my focus. There we go. So you basically want to dodge his special attacks, and then if you can dodge that, you'll get a chance to hit him, like so. And then you basically like, ha, I am Link, and I want to do bad things to Zelda, and you are not going to stop me. But he is kind of cool. He's kind of cool. Fire power. Oh no! He's got like a death hand. Oh man, I totally got wrecked. I was like beating him up. And then it's like, nah mate. Now nah, I got a fire hand in this cutscene. And then uh, Imp is all like, dude, that's not even cool. Enjoy our shared grave. Oh man, we're gonna... I was gonna say double team him, but maybe maybe that's not the, the best turn of phrase for this kind of situation. Come on, dude. Did he save me? What's happening? Oh no. I have actually played this. I can't remember how this, this mission goes. I think I'm gonna emerge from the flames and he's all like, ha, I got you. But I didn't double check that you were dead. And that is my folly because it turns out that Link has a fairy. And it's basically, I guess like the fairies in um in the game, 
Oh, it's my it's my Triforce. Could I be? I think I could be. I like how it follows the traditional story of like most Zelda games. Where did he go? Where's Volga? Oh, he ran away. Oh well. We tried. Anyway, we're actually meant to continue on for glory. But I'm just gonna kill some things while we go. Is Volga slacking off again? How rude. Look at Wizard. He's well cheeky. So you can capture certain points. I think you have to like kill enough dudes inside and then the, the guy who owns the point spawns. Like not all points you can kill, but there are places you can actually capture. You kill enough guys and then the uh, the captain spawns and then you basically cap him, right? I've got to de defeat the lizard dude. Let's do that. We've got plenty of friendlies out here, so I'm not really going to worry too much about this. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, there's a Goron and he's our friend. So I need to kill Lizard Lizardos. There he is. So the trick of like defeating different guys is just kind of learning how how they kind of like use their abilities so they're like with the fire and then if you dodge that then you can get he gets staggered and then you can hit him so you want to kind of learn how to basically kill different characters by um by chopping them up i suppose basically by seeing their moveset kind of figuring out how to dodge their moves and then how to kill them and uh, we opened the mine entrance i wonder what could be in the mines perhaps it's bombs considering there's a rock here that you can bomb which we're going to cheekily bomb anyway because we're not supposed to do this but Great. So normally at this point you would not in fact have bombs. You wouldn't be able to get all these delicious rupees. But anyway, we'll go we'll go in here because the storyline dictates it. And throughout the different levels you, you'll get different kind of actives. I think I can swap through them with the D-pad. Yeah, so these are the different things. I have potions, bombs, boomerang. Uh, this isn't all of them. You get, you get more, but these are the, just the ones that I have. And they provide different kind of effects on the battlefield in terms of fighting against enemies, but also in terms of progressing the storyline and... Uh, clearing say features so there we go weapon acquired that would be the bombs normally uh and then you can use the boulders to destroy them like so we go and I, like i like how he throws like eight billion bombs at once that's totally unfair anyway you know that place where i uh oh that was a good shot that was a good combo you know that place where i um where i um threw bombs last time let's go over there let's go over there right so we'll, we'll go we'll go over here and we'll figure out what's going on the good news is you go fast once you've, uh, you've you've gone a certain distance. Also, pots. You want some health? Red pot. A. Like it's like it's funny because there's a heart in a red pot and red pot in other games like red potion. Also, materials you collect throughout the game you can use to like buff yourself um, or or learn new abilities and, and what have you. So we'll go in here. This is apparently where we are needed. Westfield Keep is open. Yeah, it is open, and it's definitely not because I cheated. Uh, I guess we can cap this actually. So it's it's red. So you'll notice that as we as we um. As we kill the baddies, the red bar drops. And then once we've killed enough, I think, of these guys, we should be able to cap it. So we're just going to do that real quick. Uh, we'll just kind of go ham. Um, the basic combos are just spamming, uh, like, Y a lot and then hitting X. And then you do something cool. So, like, the more times you press Y before you press X, I guess the cooler your ability looks. Um, and you can kind of learn different abilities. And each character can also have more than, uh, more than one weapon, as in, like... You can't have more than one weapon in-game, but you can equip different le weapons. Like, Link has a staff he can collect. C collect, sorry, equip. But, like, why would you ever use a staff when you can, in fact, use, like, the Master Sword? So then we get the Keep Boss. So I remember mentioned this earlier. We kill the Keep Boss, and we capture the Keep. Boom. And now it's friendly, and it's full of blue dudes. Okay, onwards to this mission point. So if something's flashing on the map, normally something needs to happen. Hey, it's Zelda. Hey, don't you hit my wife. Like, we are going to have beautiful b babies together. Stop it! How rude. Eh. Going to kill everything. Um, but yeah, this is, this is actually quite a fun game to play. Like, I think, like, you have to have a certain kind of a enjoyment with um, this kind of simple, simplistic kind of hack and slash gameplay. I mean, there are challenges and you can die. I've died before. Uh, especially at bosses when I couldn't figure out how to kill them. Because the bosses are kind of Zelda-esque. You have to figure out um, the way, the, the their weak spot and then, like, combo them and, and, and kill their weak spot and what have you. Anyway, we have to capture both central and east field keeps, uh, which should then be shown on the map. There we go. So we'll go capture some more keeps, as you guys saw me do earlier on, and just kind of get on with it. Um, but this level is fairly fairly quick, but it depends on also how, like um, how thorough you are. Like You'll see I've been leaving behind a lot of enemies. Usually when I play these games, I can spend hours on a level. Well, not hours, there's a time limit of an hour, but like a good long time on a level just kind of making sure I've killed like every single one of these little baddies like i don't know I, I take some kind of sadistic pleasure out of it i think you can actually do a yeah you can charge the attack wait what did that do and then you just let it go i've got you do that yeah look at me go ham uh 
So that's something you can do. I don't know what these things do. I don't think you can break them. I think these are just spawners for the bad guys. Yeah, there's some bad guys. Um, but kind of learning the different combos and stuff is, is important. And also, some characters are weak to certain elements. Likewise, you can be, um, you can be, uh, we'll use A here. You can be, uh, strong or weak to certain elements based on your weapon and also based on, um, the way you've upgraded your character in terms of your defense. So we've captured this keep, but we'll go get the next one. Meanwhile, Zelda is advancing towards the fairy fountain. So you see there, it shows you where she's heading. Um, so Zelda's heading that way and, like, it's liable that we'll have to go there later on. Oops, there's a guy there. A lizard dude. So remember these lizard dudes you want to just kind of run around the outside of while he does his flames. And then you can hit him in the butt. Hey. I mean, it, it does help to stagger them. You do much more damage if you if you can do that or get them into that state. So that's what I'm trying to do here. But he, he doesn't seem to want to try and breathe fire on me. So we'll just straight up kill him. Yeah, get wrecked. And we'll pick up these things. So that thing filled up my special bar, which you guys will know as my... Uh, my egg. That um, keep actually got captured by the forces without my help. Like, I just killed the lizard dude. Didn't actually need to go capture that one. And that does happen. The battle rages on whilst you're not there. So, for example, whilst I was, like, doing other things, we may, like, capture or lose the keep. Or kill another lizard dude. Um, and these guys drop certain materials. So if there's certain materials that you actually want, then uh, you're better off, um, you're better off uh, collecting them, I guess. We're just gonna straight up like mug him here. He's like, I'm doing the fire ability. It's like, bitch, please. I have special. Did he die? I don't know where he's gone. I think, oh no, he's there. Oh, I thought he died. I was like, where's he gone? Game. Why you troll me so? Ow, ow. My hearts. I like that your health bar in this is made up of hearts and you get more hearts obviously by collecting heart containers and whatnot as the game goes on. So it, these, these kind of levels are going to get easier if you want to go back and re replay them. The earlier levels will be a little bit Easier than you would expect. Hey, there's another weak lizard dude. Let's kill him as well. Come here. Oh, why am I why am I attacking this? This isn't actually where I'm meant to go. Oh, if only we had a bomb. That's such a hint, Zelda. She's like, if only we'd have this fall down in a second, I'd be able to dodge all the bad guys. Um, so outpost captains, you can kill them and you can capture outposts. So we'll just kind of mess him up because why the heck not? Um, so there you go. Now this is a blue outpost, so this should spawn blue dudes. Um, and this obviously also helps swing the battle in your tide because you've got. Uh, Friendly mercenaries. Anyway, let's uh, let's go bomb mode. Look at that, look at that. And now we've opened the way to the fairy fountain. Whatever could be in here. Maybe a cutscene. We must pray to the great fairy. Okay, I'll pray with you, Zelda. I'll pray with you any day. Oh yeah, baby. Ha, I can push her around. No, I'm pushing her. God damn it, I don't want to use the magic circle. I was having fun. Press Y. What's gonna happen? We're getting a cutscene. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. That's <laughs> so terrifying. Um, yeah, guys, so that's what fairies look like in uh, in real life, I guess. That's that's terrifying. Please just, like, put some clothes on. Well, she's given us fairy powers, so I'm not going to fault her, but... I, like, I can't unsee that. I can't, like, wash that image from my eyes. Like, I kind of want to just scrub it and just, like, cleanse my entire face. Oh, do we have, like, a super powerful bomb? Yeah, we do. Fairy power, guys. Like, never say that you don't believe in fairies. They are, they are bowler as fuck. Uh, okay. We dealt a devastating blow to enemy forces. So we basically were just like, hey there, enemy. We have fairies on our side and our fairies gonna fuck you up. And then they did. Uh, yeah, mission successful. Oh yeah. Gained moral. Oh, I, I, I was gonna say gained moral. It says gained morale. They gained morale. And now we're gonna counterattack. Well, let's just go kill these dudes whilst we wait for the plot to advance. I like how Impa's like, Zelda, please, you're gonna obviously get kidnapped at one point and we don't want that to happen. So if you could like leave, that would be great. Spoilers, Zelda may or may not get kidnapped in this game. I'm not, I'm like, I'll let you guys figure that one out for yourself. Oh, she left the battlefield, it's all good. Meanwhile, the wizard is like, yeah, this is where it gets interesting. Unleash King Dodongo and Inevitably, we're gonna have to use bombs to defeat King Dodongo. I feel like, based on the way Zelda games work, it's like, oh, here's a new ability, or here's a new weapon. And then it's like, here's a boss, and you gotta figure out how to beat the boss with the weapon. And that's that's the case in, in uh, Hyrule Warriors as well. So it, it still has a lot of kind of aspects to it that are similar to The Legend of Zelda. And I have to kill him before he gets to the keep, otherwise you lose. And there have been situations where I haven't managed to figure out how to defeat the boss. And because I couldn't defeat the boss, I failed the level and then you have to either start from a checkpoint or start all over again depending on uh, how how badly you failed and stuff. Anyway, let's go, King Dodongo. 
I think I can probably focus on him. There we go. We'll just kind of hit him a little bit. Uh, let's just throw bombs. If he's if he's opening his mouth like that, I feel like throwing bombs is probably the way forward. Uh, oh, he wasn't suking stuff in. He's just roaring. Uh, okay, how do I kill him? Oh, there. There, there. Bombs. 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 Yeah, you go. Eat the bombs. Aha! I figured it out. And then hopefully that will stagger him. Or, like, knock him over. Yeah, and then, and then I have as long as I can to just kind of slice him up. Uh, and we can actually use A here, which is kind of good. So we can use our special ability there just to kind of put some damage off. And you'll see his health bar there. Also, R. R is like our magic. Uh, we can use this here. It basically makes us go ham. So you still kind of attack normally, but um, you attack a bit quicker. You do more damage per shot, that kind of thing. So it's it's not completely terrible. Um, Central Keep may be about to fall, but it doesn't really matter so long as we don't lose. Uh-oh. Uh flame Breath. Yeah, you want to be aware of kind of the stuff that he can do. Uh, that's me running out of magic power. And you notice that when I run out of magic power, I do a big ability there. Eat these. Oh, fuck. I missed. Well, that didn't do as much damage as it should have. Like, that looks super painful. No advancing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I like how I'm just, like, trying to stop him advancing. It's like, he's like, yeah, mate, whatever. I am I am going this way. There's nothing you can do. I'm trying to convince him to attack me. But I think what will happen is, until he gets to the keep, I won't actually be able to stop him. And you have to just fight him in the keeps. I mean... We'll just hit him in the butt, because this does actually do a small amount of damage. It doesn't do, like, massive amounts of damage. There we go. Okay, now he's decided he's not happy with me. Uh, but bombs. Nom, 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 nom. Mmm, tasty, tasty. I'm pretty sure they would probably go out, you know, in the real world. Like, if you if you actually did that, I'm pretty sure the bombs would actually, like, they wouldn't they wouldn't stay lit, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, man! If you if you stagger him, you then stab him in the neck. Jesus Christ, I forgot you did that. So if you if you can stagger them during that phase, like take out take out the whole thing, you then do like a special wombo combo attack. Oh, bombs, bombs, eat the bombs. Yum, 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 yum. Tasty. Ha. Huh. I tricked you, they're not tasty at all. They're in fact disgusting. Uh, but yeah, here we just want to hit him as much as we can. And this will actually carry over to the um to the next uh stagger phase if he doesn't die here. Like next time we we try to stagger him, he should be on a a lower amount of uh, of damage, I guess. No, I'm trying to kill you here. I like how suddenly, sometimes he's just like, nah, mate, nah, we're good. I am the great King Dodongo, and I do not care for your puny, puny attacks. Yeah, there we go. Right, fight me. Fight me. Oh, row button. There we go. Eat. Nom, 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 nom. Tasty. Good, good for you. Good for you. Very high in protein. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. I tricked you. Yeah. Now taste my blade. Eh. Come on, combo. There we go. You ready? You ready? He's so dead. Look at that. Boom. He does not look like a happy bunny. And the uh, the Dodongo has been defeated and turns into rupees. Oh, man. I hope when I die, my corpse explodes into rupees. Like, I feel like that would be pretty good. It would be pretty good, like, in terms of ways to go. And Impa's all like, good job. We should never give up. And I'm like, yeah. Impa, terrible news. The enemy wizard has seized the castle. I swear I used to think Impa was a dude, but I think Impa is, in fact, a girl. Um, this game actually, in terms of female characters, there is a lot of choice. You get like Zelda, you get Sheik, you get Impa, you get uh, Midna, you get that blue one. I can't remember what she's called. Uh, there's more than that. I, I don't, I'm not very good with my Zelda lore. I know Zelda, I know Link, I know what a Goron is, I know who Ganon is, but it's a bit limited. Meanwhile, whilst we were faffing around on the battlefield, it seems that uh, in the castle something has gone amiss. And Impa's like, oh, it's alright, it's alright dude, I got you. I got you. And she's all like, by the way, we lost Zelda. You know how I was like, you know, go to the castle, Zelda? Well, she did that and then we lost her. So you want to give us a hand in finding her? Because she seems to have disappeared whilst, you know, there was an enemy, like, charging outside. Oh, normally in this point, I forgot, normally you're not actually wearing this cool tunic. You're not normally wearing green. You're wearing, like, this, uh, this, uh, white outfit for, like, one of the king, the gods or whatever. So at this point... You're not actually geared out in the, the green tunic. And now we learn about the storyline. So Triforce, in case you didn't know, that has three parts. Power, wisdom, and, of course, courage. And uh, you need to collect them all to be the ultimate ninja warrior. Or what what, what have you. Um, but this is kind of the, the story of the game. Explaining the Triforce. And what actually happens in this game is... Um, you play through different parts of multiple Zelda games. That's why it has so many characters in it. There's a point where the universe kind of gets like ruptured and there's three different Zelda games. There's uh, Skyward Sword, there is... Ugh, 
Ocarina of Time, maybe? I can't remember. No, tw tw Twilight... Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, and... I think Ocarina of Time, maybe not. But basically, um, each different uh, game is, is featured in this game so that you can try out all the characters, and you have to kind of split up and collect these uh, fragments, unsurprisingly. So they were sealed and imprisoned by the evil blade of evil's bane which looks you know somewhat like a master sword but it clearly is the blade of evil's bane so this is kind of giving us some of the lore um and the background which will then set up for the bit where the the world kind of ruptures into all of the other universes and there's like wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff but uh meanwhile zelda has been lost and we did pretty well we got a bonus we got uh we got a, a lot of rupees now we have 114,000. Um, so they'll, well now we have 121,000, sorry, we had 114,000. Uh, then it'll show you anything that you picked up, so we got a, uh, a king sword, sorry, knight sword, knight sword, these are just like the same ones. Also a goddess sword, which could be equipped by that character, and a knight sword. Um, you can see all the items here. You could only have up to 10 of the same weapon, so you need to get rid of ones that you don't have. So the stars kind of indicate how good it is, so you can basically just choose to get rid of, like, the, 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 the low-powered ones, basically. Um, and you'll actually earn money when you discard them. So uh, how do I how do I finish this? Plus confirm. There we go. Yes, yes, I will sell these swords. Um, then this is the kind of uh, crafting materials that you earn. So these you can then use to buff different characters and whatnot. And uh, that's basically Hyrule Warriors, guys. That is the first level. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up this video here. We'll play the second level in the next video. Um, but if you've enjoyed this you choose video, then if you can hit that thumbs up button, guys. This is what you chose for me to play, and I've done my best. Uh, next round we can actually play as Impa or uh, sorry Link, so we'll play as Impa, you know, just to mix it up as we go in search of Zelda, who seems to have disappeared. Um, this has been obviously a YouTube's video, and these are something that Patreons get earlier, so Patreons will be able to see these videos a week before everyone else on the channel. So if you want to check out our Patreon, that is patreon.com forward slash the kilobits, um, where you can basically monetarily support the channel, keep us running, keep us doing what we're doing, and uh, help financially support us to be able to make these kind of extra videos and stuff. Um, and you'll get early access as a kind of perk, so please do check that out. Uh, social media wise, facebook.com forward slash kilobits and Twitter at the kilobits. Let me know what you think of the game. game. Yeah, I'm, I'm mumbling in the comments below. Like, how do you feel this is as a Dynasty Warriors game? How do you feel this is as a Zelda game? Like, I think they've actually done a very good job of mixing the two together, but I do want to know what you guys think. So uh, do let me know in the comments. Um, and this is what I was saying about the world's switching. So after this level, you see there's three different story paths. This is Death Mountain and Lake Hylia. Yeah, this is definitely Ocarina of Time. I was right. Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Oh, thumbs up for me, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode with more Hyrule Warriors. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing because I do actually like this game. Bye. Bye.